Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with a uh, special video. Uh, gonna show something that uh, arrived in the mail yesterday for me, and this is a Christmas present from me to me. Um, this is something that I, I still can't believe I went ahead and bought this. You know, when it came up for pre order, I saw the price and I th saw you know what all came with it, and I'm just like, you know, I, I guess that's not too bad of a price well then i checked amazon the day that it came out and the price had gone up significantly and i was like oh well then i may not get that because i really don't want to spend that much money and then i checked not long just i think last week and it had gone down like 50 bucks or something like that i'm like you know what fuck it this is a christmas present from me to me and I have to have it, and I'm so excited to finally have this. I came home from work, and there's this massive box waiting on me. And I'm like, that's it. It's it's here. And it is heavy as fuck. I present to you the Rammstein Complete Works Vinyl Box Set. And you probably can't see that. There we go. Lean back in the light, kind of. This thing, like I said, is freaking heavy. There are 14 180-gram vinyls in this thing. I mean, it says it's limited edition, numbered, but I don't know exactly how many copies. I am I almost want to say 5,000, just a, as a guess, because mine is number 4622. I don't know if you can see that too well. But yeah, let me show you what you get in this beast, if I can... Get it open here. And there they are. We have their debut album, Hurts a Lot. And comes a nice little gatefold. Like I said, all of these are two vinyl sets, 180 gram vinyl. They look great. I haven't had a chance to uh, listen to any of these yet. And, you know, they're all black vinyl. And one thing that I thought was really interesting about uh, these is that each one of them comes with a massive booklet. And just kind of show you a little bit. This one. You know, just, uh, there's, you know, Teal, the man himself. I mean, this is a big-ass booklet. Basically, it's a giant version of the booklet that comes in with the CD. And the other cool thing about this is, is out of this entire set, the only ones that were ever actually released on vinyl that I can recall were uh, their fourth album, Raisa Raisa, and their last studio album, which was... Uh, Lieb is for Alada. And, uh, yeah, so pretty much all of these, except for those two, have never been released on vinyl until this set. Here we have my introduction to the band Sin Sukt. Again, gatefold. And, you know, printed inner sleeves on all of these. And like I said, they're all black vinyl. And uh, this one's kind of cool because it has um, like a silver, it's not really, it's not sparkles, but like a silver foil on the album title. Really cool. And again, massive. Now, I don't know if you'd really call this one a book, but it's kind of just like a fold out. Got the rest of the band members there. And I can remember seeing kids when I was in high school wearing this t-shirt right here. And I always remember seeing it and I'm thinking, who the fuck is Rammstein? And then, of course, you know, there was their big kind of controversy over their song, uh, Du Hast, and everything. And it was just kind of kind of ridiculous. And this one, this one right here, Mutter, which is another one of my all-time favorite albums from them. Very shiny packaging, very glossy, but I love it. And got the members all there in Formaldehyde. And this this one's got some amazing songs on it. I mean, 
Honestly, I don't think there's really a bad song on this album, or even Sin Sukt. I don't really think there's a bad song on that one either. Uh, track three, Son, one of my all-time favorite songs from them. I could listen to that song over and over and never get tired of it. Ich will, Fire Fry, Motors, uh, yeah, okay. And of course, track two, Lynx, two, three, four. That's such an amazing song. Again, printed inner sleeves, cool stuff. And you know, with Rammstein, they they make, in my opinion, some of the best music out there. I mean, that's just me talking. You know, again, glossy booklet here. But admittedly, their last couple albums, just I don't know, they kind of left me wanting a little bit. I mean, these first three are fantastic in my opinion really solid stuff this one here their fourth album risa risa uh still a good album don't get me wrong got some really good songs on it but compared to the others you know i just really it doesn't really kind of it i don't know just something about it doesn't compare to the first three and another thing I'm kind of surprised about with this set is that they didn't bother to um, put in their live album, Live Aus Berlin. I kind of figured they would, if they're going to do a complete works, they should have put the live album in this thing. But still yet, you know, I'm very happy with this set so far. I haven't had a chance to spin any of these, though I am most definitely looking forward to it. Um, like I said, this, I'm not even going to tell you how much with, uh, shipping and tax this this box set cost me, but let's just say it is a shit ton of money. <laughs> and here we have, uh, Rosenrot. This is where they really started. It just, I don't know. I don't really care for this one as much as the others, but it's still pretty decent. I mean... A bad Rammstein album is, or should I say a decent Rammstein album, is a, <laughs> better than a lot of albums out there, I think. Again, big-ass booklet. And a friend of mine, I remember when this came out, me and him were talking about this one, and he said it's basically almost like they took like leftover tracks from the sessions of their previous albums and kind of made this into an album which you know whether that's true or not i don't know and then of course we have liebest fur alada their last studio album nice gold foil Ooh, nice and shiny there and of course you got boobs you gotta have boobs on a album cover or in an album cover in the booklet anywhere you add boobs to anything and it just makes it so much better, in my opinion. Not much going on as far as that inner sleeve. Here's that image for you. Yeah, just... A lot of people don't like Rammstein. You know, they don't really consider him metal. Which, you know, that's kind of debatable, I guess you can say. Because, you know, you got your industrial elements mixed with, you know... I mean, personally, I, I consider them, I lump them in as a metal band, but like I said, I know a lot of people don't, and it's, it's whatever, but. And the last one is called, uh, I'm totally going to butcher this, of course, Raritaten, and uh, this right here is essentially... Uh, two LPs worth of, um, like, I guess, unreleased versions of songs, and uh, even, I think even some songs that were actually never even released before. So, you know, this one didn't come with a booklet, at least I don't think it did, no. I don't see one there, don't see one there. Just a little printed inner sleeve, like I said, all of them are on black vinyl. Two LP, 180 gram. Killer, killer stuff. I mean, like I said, this thing is heavy as hell. And, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with it. And I cannot wait to listen to this on vinyl for the first time. 
But, yeah, I mean, to me, it was well worth the money. I know there are a lot of people that when I told them how much I spent for this, they looked at me like I had two heads. And I'm like, hey, look, you know, you're talking about 14 vinyls here, you know, seven double LP sets, 180 grand. And the packaging is just phenomenal. I mean, you get your money's worth, I think, with this. I mean, this this show you how flipping heavy this damn thing is. I can hardly hold it up with one hand without it starting to hurt my arm. But yes, that is my Christmas present from me to me. I'm sorry if I rambled on here. I'm very tired. I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning. I work a very early shift, and it it drains me by the time I get home, let me tell you. So yeah, if you're a fan of Rammstein... Definitely pick this set up, I think. I mean, to me, it's well worth the money. If you're a fan of this band, pick this up. I know uh, Count Blagrath and I were talking about this set, and he couldn't believe I actually bought it. And so, yeah, that is uh, my video for now. My next one I'm hoping to get recorded, hopefully sometime this weekend, if I'm lucky. And uh, maybe I'll have done some shopping and get to show you some of the stuff that I picked up uh, with money I got for Christmas, and, you know, maybe some of the stuff that people got for me. And, of course, I'm also going to try to get my uh, top 20, 25, however many I decide releases for uh, this year and a couple other things done. I'm hoping to have it done. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and subscribing, and until next time, stay brutal.